perfect at home this season, not something that many teams in college volleyball can say. Kennesaw State is one of those teams, and they come in tonight 9-0 at the Convocation this center. The Owls looking to make it good this season and continue their winning ways at home. They face tonight the Stetson Hatters who make the trip to Kennesaw to try and spoil this perfect record at home while the Owls compete for a first place spot in the Ace Sun Tournament. Bryce Gobert, Lauren Chastang. Lauren, it's gonna be a fun one tonight. The Owls have a big weekend ahead of them. They do have a big weekend ahead of them. Ideally, what they would want to do is take care of the Hatters pretty fast tonight so they can have all, all the juice in the legs tomorrow for FGCU, but not overlook the Hatters. It's going to be a fun one tonight and some key players that we want to watch. And we'll first start with Stetson. will be number five, Naya Molina, the sophomore 5'8 from Orlando, Florida. Yes, Naya, she was a Sun freshman of the year last year. She's the quarterback of their team. She's feisty. She's, she's very, very scrappy. She doesn't let much hit the floor, and she runs her team very well to be so young. A lot of accolades to her name. But looking over at this Kennesaw State side, someone we were talking about before the game, Lauren, just hit the 1,000 kills mark, Danny Ballou. Danny Ballou, her fifth year senior, taking her COVID year. She's been a veteran for the team, very consistent, having a heck of a year for her last year. Team can look into her in high moments and low moments, and she's going to take care of the ball and be a leader out there for them. Taking a look at this series history between the two teams, Lauren, Kennesaw State leads it pretty handily. 20 to seven in favor of the Owls, the last meeting November 5th of 2021. So coming up on over a year ago, the Owls took that in a three nothing sweep. Stetson is only two, is Stetson is two and 11 at the Convocation Center in the series history, history of all teams. What is it like playing a team that you dominate here at home? Yeah, at home Stetson has been handled pretty seamlessly. But um, when we play Stetson at their place, they're the type of team that when they get momentum behind them, they're hard to stop. And they're, they're one of the type of teams that's so aggressive and so um, defensively big that they um, are very hard to score against. And so um, I think Kennesaw tonight, what they need to do is, is come out really strong and kind of get their, their momentum down, their spirits down, and let them know that, that at home that they can't do that. But I know that Coach Keith preaches against the Stetson team, don't let them get going because when they get going, they're hard to stop. And I mentioned that Kennesaw State in a three-way tie for first place at where we stand right now with uh, the A-Sun Conference. Right now, they're on the top. They're listed at eight and two, along with Liberty and Lipscomb. Central Arkansas just behind them at eight and three, and Jacksonville State at seven and three. But you have that FGCU team that the Owls have to face tomorrow yeah. that everyone kind of thought, hey, they're going to be the team to fight with this season. I know FGCU is facing a little bit of adversity, but that doesn't make them not a good program, not a deep team. Um, and so there is a dogfight at the top, and that's what makes there be more pressure on this game for the Owls. It's not necessarily Stetson that they're fighting against, but it's the other three teams that they're tied with in the conference that can make a big difference for them at the end of the year. These two teams have a lot to battle for. Kennesaw State with a tough schedule down the road, have to face Lipscomb twice in the near future going to be fun to see how Kennesaw State can manage this tough end of the year schedule on a lot of them that are road games. This one tomorrow and then they have one more home game the very last of the season. A lot of road games. We're going to see what they can do about it. We're going to now head to the end game pregame ceremonies here from the KSU Convocation Center after the anthems and lineups. We'll get right back to you and we'll have action from Kennesaw State Convocation Center. Owls and Hatters coming up next here on the KSU Owl Network. Our fans, please turn your attention to the floor as KSU Volleyball takes this opportunity to celebrate Dr. Kathy Schreiber. To celebrate with this part of the adventure, Kennesaw County University's sixth president, head coach Keith Shunzo, presents Dr. Schreiber in his brand new jersey to commemorate this story of this age. Congratulations to Dr. Schreiber and thank you for your continued support of the KSU Volleyball. Senior Shelby Dennis, and her 4,000 career 
And now for tonight's starting lineups. First, for the visiting Cowboys, from Stetson. At outside hitter, number two, Annabelle Sanders. At middle blocker, number four, Alexis Thompson. At striker, number five, Naya Molina.
Welcome back into the Kennesaw State Convocation Center. Bryce Gobert alongside Lauren Chastang getting ready for action to get underway here on the floor. Stetson and Kennesaw State, both programs trying to find their way, Stetson I should say, trying to find their way into the A-Sun Conference Tournament. Kennesaw State currently in a three-way tie and trying to get a sole possession of first place. Lauren, how important is this matchup here tonight for both squads? I think it's important to just stay focused, especially for Kennesaw's side. Stetson, it could be an opportunity for them, absolutely. Not too much is on the line for them, though. They're going to still stay in the middle of the pack. For Kennesaw, this is going to be an opportunity to where they could keep what they have going for them or could lose focus and make a mistake tonight. Claire Parsons, Caroline Cole, McKinley Ferguson, Jasmine Brown, Shelby Dennis, Danny Blue, and Manu Johnson getting the start here for Kennesaw State tonight. Annabelle Standish, Alexis Thompson, Naya Molina, Lena Djokovic, Sophia Groom, Elani Vitali, and Madeline, Madeline Gerald, the starting players here for Stetson. Stetson will get it started off here. Naya Molina, a sophomore from Orlando, Florida, to get us started here in Kennesaw. Ball's up in the air and we are underway. Cole receives it. Ferguson will set quickly over to Blue, blocked at the net. Ferguson one more time, opposite side. Jasmine Brown gets a deflection and out of bounds. That will take point one. Wasn't quite ready for it. Tough one for the Owls to take a point off. We'll probably see a lot of back and forth here in the beginning until someone gets settled in and starts taking control. Elena Djokovic on the serve. Cole receives. Ferguson on the set. Johnson from the back comes in, gets a deflection at the net and finds an open spot on the floor for the Owls to retake the lead. McKinley re really led her right there. Her hitting out of the back row. She has to jump behind that 10-foot line, and she just hung in the air forever. <laughs> Looked like Michael Jordan's famous dunk. Absolutely. McKinley Ferguson now on the serve. Received by Gerald. Point for Kennesaw State. It looks like Stetson reached over the net. Yep, setters back row. So if the ball goes um, at the plane of the net and she jumps and pulls it back while Danny touches it, it's automatic point for Kennesaw. It's a smart play by Danny. Head coach Young Den wanted an explanation from the far side. Official, got it. Ferguson on the serve. Near side for Standish. Nice dig out by Shelby Dennis. Danny Ballou on that one just misses it off the back, li back line. Three to two, our score here in set number one, just underway from Kennesaw. Alexis Thompson now, the middle blocker from Spring Hill, Florida, serving for Stetson. High lob received by Johnson. Ferguson will set it. Danny Ballou on the near side, gets blocked, and it lands in. Stetson brings us back, tied at three. Block at the net by Standish on the block. Stetson has always been known for their defense. Their block is super, super disciplined. Their defense is super scrappy. And we're going to see a lot of that. Kennesaw have to find different ways to win, different ways to score tonight against the Hatters. Thompson gets the ace there. Dennis couldn't receive it cleanly. So Stetson has their first lead on the night, 4-3. to three. It's going to be a game played at the net here tonight for both of these squads. Johnson receives the serve. Ferguson sets for blue just... Flings it over. Stetson will try and rebound. Blocked at the net and gets down. Parsons was there alongside Emma Scherfranz. Hits their hands, just goes straight to the floor. Stetson looked really in control in that out of system play right there. A great job about Josephic coming in and setting her outside hitter and executed well. Blue puts it over on the much needed to be. Stetson again. Just overpowering Kennesaw State here at the net. Owls trying to get up and block, but ball's just finding fingertips and not the palms where it needs to be to get back over. Yep, so like I said, Bryce, Stetson has very disciplined block where they press over nice. They're just their hands are just there. Kennesaw sometimes tends to get really high with the block, and it allows them to be able to use the block. Thrown over by the Hatters. Ferguson sets near side Baloo. Good job to dig it out by Naya Molina. Here comes Standish. Ferguson. Slides in and keeps it up. Scherfron's on the far side for the slam. Gets blocked and falls down. Stetson with four straight points here. They lead at 7-3. Head coach Keith Shunzel talking over with Emma Scherfron's. 
Still serving is Alexis Thompson. Leaves it long, though, on a service here. So the Owls get a much-needed point and close the lead back to three. Owls catch a little bit of a break there, Lauren. Just force and air. Able to get the ball back and now just a chance to rebound and get all these points that they just lost back and get some momentum for themselves. Danny Ballou on the serve. Just hit the 1,000 kill mark. Leaves that one long. So back-to-back -back services for both sides, 8-4. to four. The lead goes back out to four for Stetson. Yeah, that ball almost fell in, but you can see Kennesaw taking a little bit longer in their huddle, taking deep breaths and saying, okay, let's just take a deep breath and start playing our game. Milani Vitali on the serve. Ferguson will set far side for Manu Johnson. Gets back over, but lands out of bounds. That was Elena Djokovic who tried to just pop it up. Why not over on the Owls' side of the net? Kennesaw State trying to battle back here as we see Addie Godey enter in for the serve. Godey this year, five aces to her name, and three in the Owls last game against North Florida in their 3-2 loss. Received by Vitaly, set in the far side. Ferguson tried to keep it up, looked like it may have taken a small deflection off of Godey's face and down to the floor. So a little unlucky there for Kennesaw State. Leads still four. Stetson leads at nine to five here in set number one from Kennesaw. Annabelle Standish on the serve. See Leah Freeman into the game. Owls find a kill there with Jasmine Brown. Much needed to get some points back. First ball contact is really clean from both sides. Both setters are having opportunities to feed their hitters really well. The Hatters right now are executing a little bit more effectively on offense, but some momentum right here by Emma Sherfrons and get some things going here in the combo and anything can happen. Just wondering how Stetson going to be able to counteract that topspin serve that Sherfrons has. It was hard to do for Standish on that back line in the back left corner. Another high throw and another topspin on it. Standish receives it. Owls keep it over the net. Gerard. To Djokovic, who puts the ball over. Kennesaw State will return, takes a couple deflections, gonna be saved by Stetson. Shelby Dennis grabs it. McKinley Ferguson on the set. Jasmine Brown just missed this near side line. Stetson still leads by three. Some good volleys going back and forth, good defense on both sides. That's always fun to watch. That's what you come here to watch. Good volleyball. A lot of action here early on. Leah Freeman receives the serve. McKinley Ferguson was working with Manu Johnson a lot. Or with just different players in the pregame with some setting. And you see her get a kill right there. Just tip that one over the net. Something that she does so well is to act like she's going to set it and then just the one-handed throw over the net. So well. McKinley has come alive in her offensive game as a setter this year, really utilizing her left arm, which she's a lefty, and being forceful about it, and it has worked a lot this season. Johnson on the serve, Owls trail by two. Stetson gonna return with Djokovic. Misses out of bounds on that side, Kennesaw State bench side. So Manu Johnson will get to go again. The freshman, 5'11 from Copenhagen, Denmark. Had 14 kills and 42 total attacks versus North Florida. Light serve over, Molina will set. Djokovic tries to put it lightly over. Blue digs it out of there and puts it just over herself. Djokovic again for the kill attempt. Takes a deflection. Owls able to keep it alive. Ferguson far side. Blue trying to find open floor. Can't do so. Kept alive by the Owls again. And we're all back tied. A lot of back and forth action there. <laughs> a lot of back and forth. Yeah, and you could tell um, Alexis Thompson, she just... She was playing that game, that fast game. I just want to get rid of it right here, and she should have just probably played it off the net, but that's what happens when it gets kind of chaotic. You just play into that chaos. Johnson on her third consecutive serve as the Owls bring us back tie. Djokovic, Cole able to keep it alive. Stetson on the far side able to do the same with Jarrett. Net violation on Stetson. As it looks like, we're going to have a timeout called here by the Hatters. 11 to 10, our score. Kennesaw State takes back the lead. 11 to 10 here from the Convocation Center. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Kennesaw State Volleyball here on the KSU Owl Network.
will start out a little bit slow here, but finally find their way and even out the stats. Lauren, right now both teams hitting under 200. You're gonna have to find a way to get that better if you're Kennesaw State to win here in set number one. Absolutely, yes. Um, both teams are having a good first contact, just lots of defense, lots of scrappiness from both teams, which makes it hard on the hitters to be offensively, ex to be able to execute on offense, but I, it's gonna continue to even out here. Ferguson on the set, finding the floor on the far side is Danny Ballou. Ballou just reached the 1,000 kill mark in her career. Lauren, coming for your record. <laughs> Go get it, girl. It's all yours. No one better but Danny to take <laughs> it. Love that girl. Djokovic on the, to put the ball over. Dennis calls it off Ferguson. Ballou one more time at the net, gets blocked. And the combo from Alexis Thompson and Elena Djokovic. Blue with one kill here tonight, so far, and six total attacks. Owls being led in kills by Jasmine Brown. Ferguson sets, put over by Ballou, Djokovic receives. Molina, Thompson, Cole able to keep it up. Blue will put it back over. Molina one more time on the put up. Cole diving to keep it alive. Ferguson one more time. Danny Ballou hits a fingertip at the net. Djokovic, Owls keep it alive one more time. And it looks like they're gonna call it touching the floor here. Close play there for Kennesaw State. 12 to 11, our score, and set number one. Naya Molina on the serve. Cole to receive it. Ferguson will set it. Johnson to slam it. Received by Madeline Gerald. A double contact right there by um, Setter on the Hatters. Sometimes it happens. Setter's just, it, it just has a little bit more spin than usual. So what the call is, is that essentially not, both hands did not touch it at the same time. Shelby Dennis on the serve. Deflection out of bounds on the hard hit ball from Leilani Vitali. Yeah, what a smart swing. She used the hands, she told the block. She didn't, she didn't try to power it straight through it. She instead tried to swipe it off. Very all, smart play by her. All tied up at 13, Elena Djokovic on serve. Caroline Cole to receive. Danny Blue to tip it over. Djokovic will keep it up. Set up by Molina, now Isabel Standish. Nice job from Dennis to dig it and get it over on the opposite side. Scoreboard in here went off, but that was after the point had been done. Young Den trying to figure out the call one more time. Head coach Keith Shunzel on the far side was also trying to get a message over to the official. Yeah, it seems like a lot of, it seems like Stetson's not happy about something. Still trying to figure out here what the call is. McKinley Ferguson will be serving here for Kennesaw State. As you see there, head coach Young Din in her fifth season as Stetson head coach with a 50 and 75 record. Has a lot of professional volleyball experience completed for three years for the Chinese junior national team and for one year during, or for the Chinese women national team. So has had a lot of success in her career. Yeah, and she she's done a great job at Stetson. I remember when she was just coming into it, and I mean, all of a sudden that that program was a threat. And so she's really good at what she does. She stays calm, she stays collective, gives her girls lots of good pointers, lots of good advice. Spent 17 seasons as an assistant coach at Missouri, and had two SEC championships to her name. Ferguson to serve. Leaves it long over the head of Annabelle Standish. And we're back tied at 14 apiece. Alexis Thompson. We'll give it to Shelby Dennis. Ferguson will set. Parsons trying to get the kill. Got blocked at the net. Blue will try it again. And kept alive by Naya Molina. Takes a deflection and goes straight down to the feet of Shelby Dennis at the net. Wow. Stetson will retake the lead by one back and forth here in set number one from Kennesaw. 
Naya Molina, that is why she got freshman of the year last year. She's only a sophomore. It is not uncommon for her to get a triple double in games. And, and that's pretty impressive. She digs a lot. She sets so well. She also blocks well. A lot of accolades to her name. As a great play there from Shelby Dennis to keep it alive, and the Owls are able to get it over. Molina on the set. Standish, but blocked by none other than Danny Ballou. Tied at 15. Stetson leads and kills eight to seven. Kennesaw State will get their first block on the night courtesy of Danny Ballou, and she is on the serve. Just a little bit short, hits the net. Owls now trailing. It's gonna be interesting to see how airs come into play in this game. Kennesaw State already with three here in set number one. Stetson only with one. However, Stetson leads in attacking airs with five. Ferguson on the set, far side. Manu Johnson takes a deflection off some fingertips. Molina to Standish, kept up. Shelby Dennis gonna have to run behind and get it. Puts it in a good spot for Kennesaw State for Claire Parsons to put it over. Molina, near side, Standish, blocked at the net by Sherfron. 16 to 16, and it's only right, 16 gets the point for Kennesaw State. What a great play by Kennesaw. They had to give them a free ball, so Setson could do whatever they want, be in system in that play. Emma was very disciplined up there at the net and got Standish. Cody back into the game here for Kennesaw State to serve. To the hands of Italian, tipped over by Stetson. Ferguson there to receive it. Johnson on the kill attempt, still kept alive. Far side, Scherfranz. Out of bounds. Close call. Corner, corner official over here. Line judge <laughs> Helen Williams was a little bit off balance, but finally made the call. Kennesaw State now again trail by one. Tough call to make here on this near side, Lauren, especially Trying to get out of the way and make sure you're not in play. <laughs> yeah, trying to get out of the way of Emma Scherfron's bullet of a of a ball coming at your your shins. Freeman up for Johnson, hits the net. Owls keep it up. Ferguson, one more time for Johnson, finds the floor. <laughs> Nothing coming easy for either side. 17 to 17 in set number one. Manu Johnson finding her way here for Kennesaw State. Looks like Stetson's gonna challenge. They didn't like the way something happened on the Kennesaw side. I'm not sure if they're challenging a lift, um, maybe four touches, but we'll see. If I remember correctly, there was a ball hit into the net that the Owls kept over, and I thought that Ferguson would have had to put it over before that Johnson kill. But could be wrong, we'll wait to see what the call is, but 17 to 17 as of now. Gonna wait to see what the result of this challenge is, see if we can find out what it is, but Lawrence, so far, a really entertaining game here early on. Stetson came to play, trying to overturn that 2-11 record and get that going positive. Absolutely, like, as you can see, Stetson is a very, very well-fueled machine. They have they have hitters on all sides. They they are playing the ball really well. Here's the, here's the replay. So I didn't see anything before that, but. Maybe come through on the net. I don't think so. I think so. it was before this. The setter immediately turns around after this and asks why it wasn't called. So right here. Oh, so they're the calling net. it was four is what they have to be calling. And let's see if it actually touched them. It's I a don't tough know. call to see I, from I, that angle. It almost looks like it, lo it hit to the left of her arm, but. It's always a tough call, and it didn't go Kennesaw's way in the beginning, so it would have to be, I don't know, see, like it looks like it missed her left arm. From that it angle, could be right. I'd have to agree with you there. So this looks like it might be Stetson's point, but we'll see what the official call is. So the challenge was four touches. Trying to reset that touch count for Kennesaw State to allow them to get that serve off, and here comes the call. Point will stand for Kennesaw State, so officials say there was enough evidence to keep 
that call correct or just not enough to overturn it. Yeah, I definitely think it helps that the net cam was coming from the left side, so you couldn't really see the, the uh, space in between the arms, if so. But it, I think it was a great challenge by the Stetson coach, especially at 17-17 going into towards the end of the set. Sure, Franz on the serve with the topspin, dips right after it crosses the net. That'll be Sophia Groom who tried to put it over. Owls find this near side line and take the lead again. Manu Johnson showing up and showing out here for Kennesaw State. Yeah, she looks awesome tonight. She is flying high. She is hitting well, seeing the court well. Sure, Franz again with the top spin serve. Dug out of there by Vitali. Djokovic after tipped at the net from Ferguson, who will set it for Jasmine Brown, who finds the open space. Owls extend the lead to two, their biggest one since early on in this game. When they led it two to one. Sure, Franz again. Top spin serve, dug out of there nicely by Standish. Djokovic will have to put it over, she does. Sure, Franz there to take it. Ferguson, Jasmine Brown takes a deflection and lands out of bounds. Kennesaw State gets the point again, and they lead by three. Two very back-to-back, -back, very smart plays by Jasmine Brown. First cutting to her left where nobody was home, and then Air using the block to her advantage to tool the block. Sure, Franz once more on the serve. Received by Vitali. Tipped back over by Jasmine Brown at net front. One more time, hits the top of the net and finally makes its way over. Kennesaw State won't be able to save it. Takes a couple of deflections here and there and finally falls out of bounds after touching an Owl player. Stetson gets the point back. Owl's lead cut to two. Caroline Cole coming back in as well as Danny Ballou for Leah Freeman and Emma Scherfranz. Madeline Gerald on the serve here for the Hatters. That wasn't received too clean by Cole. Ferguson able to put it up for Ballou. Has a nice job there from Naya Molina to just get it in the open space and kind of does what McKinley Ferguson does, act like the set and just puts it right over and on the floor. Yep. She's not a lefty like McKinley, so McKinley has a little bit of advantage of her, but as you saw how high up she got, that ball went straight down. And nothing you can really do about that defensively if you're Kennesaw unless you're just very, very ready for it. A little bit of a miscommunication there between Leah Freeman and Shelby Dennis, 20 to 19, our score. Light serve, Cole takes this one. Ferguson sets it far side. Manu Johnson lands out of bounds. Diving for it was Madeline Gerald. As Kennesaw State will take a timeout here. 20 to 20, our score. We're gonna step aside and come back after the timeout. Don't go anywhere here in set number one. We're all knotted up at 20 here on the KSU Owl Network. Score got changed during that break. Stetson leads by one, 21 to 20. Owls having to dig deep and try and battle this one out. Stetson having to do the same and having a little bit more success. Both teams now hitting below 150. On the serve is Gerald Cole receives. Ferguson sets, Jasmine Brown gets a deflection. But off the hands of Itali, tipped back over and into the net. Kennesaw State has to put it over. Ferguson will slammed at the net. Nice play there from Alexis Thompson, the senior from Spring Hill, Florida. To get the kill there and improve Stetson's lead to two. Owls haven't lost many sets at home here, Lauren. 
How do you think a loss in set number one, if at all, will be a putback for them? I think it's needed sometimes. And sometimes it's a good wake-up call. Tipped over, Ferguson gets a deflection at the net. Just wanted to confirm that was the call. Gets the kill. And the Owls close the lead to one. Coming in on the closing of set number one here. Sets in currently now. Currently three points away. Manu Johnson on the serve. Little light, takes a deflection off the net. Djokovic with the light tap. Cole tried to save and unable to do so, and Setson now finds himself two points away. Josephic is usually a very, very aggressive player. Sometimes you never know. Maybe the shoulder's a little tweaked up or something, but she's been more so very smart, very off speed tonight, and it has gotten the Owls off on their heels. Cole receives the serve. Ferguson far side, tipped over by Ballou. Gerald will receive Djokovic one more time. Goes for the power and off the hands of <laughs> Shelby Dennis. Well, there's the power. That's what you're just talking about <laughs> right there. That's typically what we see out of her. But Stetson, just a fun fact, they, they do a lot of beach volleyball. Uh, they're a very, very good beach volleyball program. So a lot of these girls play both. And you see beach volleyball players are more smart, more scrappy. They play 20, a little bit different. 22-24 right now. And you mentioned that beach volleyball. For you as a player, do you feel that that helps on the court? Absolutely. I mean, you take the sport and you put sand underneath you and you try to jump and move in the sand like you do on hardwood. And it really, really changes the way you move on the hardwood once you get back to the hardwood. Kennesaw has been playing a lot of sand volleyball in the spring now as well. Just not a program like Stetson. So the Owls lose set one here at home. Alexis Thompson gets the final point. Stetson leads us as we head to break, 25 to 22, and one nothing in the set count here from Kennesaw. I have like hibachi. Okay. If I have hibachi, like if I'm going to volcano, like you're not getting my food. Mac and cheese. Um. Oh my gosh. White chocolate chunk chips with white cookies. Sugar cookies from Walmart. A dessert. I love cake. If it's my like go-to cake, I'm sorry. You have to get your own slice. Probably uh, any of my food. <laughs> Don't touch it. I, I like my food. I eat it all. I don't know. Mm. Ice cream. Anything chocolate. Chocolate hands down, you can't touch it. I don't think I have a specific food I would refuse to share. Probably Cheez-Its. <laughs> I love like steak and potatoes and stuff. So kind of like when I go to steak houses and everything, like that's kind of my thing. Twizzlers. Mac and cheese. Probably ice cream. <laughs> losing set number one, one to nothing. Or after going down, one to nothing in sets. They lost set number one, 25-22. And Lauren, if you look at the stats, they're pretty even. Yeah, Setson came out a little bit more hot than Kennesaw did. Um, but the stats did end up even, evening out. Um, I feel like it's a little bit dead in the combo maybe or on the outside no real momentum from either side of the team it's just kind of good volleyball but back and forth back and forth um, and that's why it was so close all the way till the end 
both teams struggling to find that offensive you mentioned momentum a lot of defense had to be played there a lot of trying to find each other getting out of system and stuff like that who do you think did it a little bit better in that and then set number one I think Stetson definitely did it better in that set and that's essentially why they came out on top in that set um, you see that they don't let many hard driven balls fall and sometimes teams at Kennesaw play you can hit the ball hard and you just score every single time Kennesaw might not be used to people digging up their really hard driven balls and and putting the ball back over and now it's a little bit chaotic and who's going to handle the chaos better when everyone's digging balls and everyone's hitting it hard Kennesaw State to serve first they'll be switching sides as part of the new rule or not one of the old rules that's back now from post-covid era so teams switching sides and switching benches Johnson was the first serve here in set number two Jasmine Brown attempting the first kill Molina nice job to keep up by Dennis kept alive by Kennesaw State and put over by Jasmine Brown Howell still able to keep it alive Stetson this time trying to put it over, takes a deflection off of Shelby Dennis. Pounds the floor and a little frustration with herself. And Stetson gets the first point of set number two. Leilani is having an amazing night so far. She's hitting 800. Every time she touches the ball, she's killing it. Ferguson on the serve. Johnson on the slam attempt. Knocked back Molina. Djokovic will do the same, takes a deflection off the net. Ferguson set for Danny Ballou, tipped over and easily received by Molina. Far side to Standish, lands in bounds and Stetson gets there the year first. Two points here early. We see Laney Van Tries entering the game for Danny Ballou. Djokovic one more time on the serve. So when you have players like Manu and, and, and Jasmine, they're hitting as hard as they can and, and Stetson's just calmly digging it up. As a hitter, you have to continue to do what you're doing and not try to play outside of yourself. Jasmine Brown takes it a couple of deflect or takes a deflection, trying to keep it alive as Stetson, but it will fall to the ground. Kennesaw State and Jasmine Brown get the kill on their first point here in set number two. Claire Parsons entering the game here for the Owls. Shelby Dennis on the serve. Dennis with one ace her last game versus North Florida. Molina sets, blocked at the net by Claire Parsons. Stetson able to keep it alive. Djokovic dug out of there by Shelby Dennis, but unsuccessfully able to, unable to pop it up and goes on the underside of the net. Stetson extends their lead back to two. Alexis Thompson, Thompson here to serve for Stetson. Father was an All-American basketball player at Tampa. Also played professionally in Germany. Almost a double touch there from Claire Parsons. Luckily, Stetson got a touch on it for her. Out of bounds on the far side. Kennesaw State gets the point, three to two. More substitutions going on for both teams. As McKinley Ferguson gets ready to serve. 10.62 assists per game, which ranks her third in the A Sun. She's 20th in aces in the ace sun as well. Molina popped up. Standish misses out of bounds again on the near side. We're all back tied. Kennesaw State digging deep here, battling back a little bit more. Three to three, our score. Ferguson one more time. Goes opposite court on that one, Molina. Vitali gets the slam on that one. Finds the open floor behind Shelby Dennis as she was creeping up a little bit, expecting it to go in front of that 10-foot line. Didn't do so. And here's Leilani Vitali one more time, the sophomore from Las, Las Vegas, Nevada. Born in Honolulu. Johnson couldn't receive that one cleanly. Stetson again back out to a two-point lead, 5-3. to three. It's only the beginning of the set, and it's only a two-point difference right now, but just watching and, and observing from the distance, it seems like Kennesaw is the one with their backs up against the wall, playing more frantic, and Stetson's just coming at them with all angles. 
Hopefully that kill right there by Claire Parsons can give them some momentum that, hey, like we can swing to, we're in control of the ball and not just always being on their heels on defense the entire time. You could hear the noise that came from that Kennesaw, those Kennesaw State players on the court as they got one trying to get a little bit of momentum back into this crowd as well. Molina will set, blocked at the net, kept alive by Manu Johnson. Ferguson now, sure fronts for the kill attempt. Vitali will receive it cleanly. Far side, Molina. Ferguson trying to keep it up. Point goes Kennesaw State's way. That's in. Pretty upset. Think that there was an apparent touch. <laughs> Thought that Ferguson there. touched it, I believe. As we will now have a review. It was a close call there. Hey, they're competitors. They 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 wear their emotion on their face. They want the points and they want to win. And and that's what I really feel right now. Like Kennesaw is playing against them and they're here to win. Stetson so far, if this point stands, Kennesaw State will bring it back twelve to five to five. That's until set number one, 25 to 22. Something that Kennesaw State does not do a lot is lose sets at home. As we're getting another look at it here. Is there a deflection at the net? Doesn't look like there's one there. Nothing that you can clearly see definitively if you see on the replay. Yeah, unless they were calling it on McKinley. It's so hard. You don't see Emma Scherfranz's fingers go back. Oh. <laughs> I think I think the ball changed spin right there on McKinley's platform. Take one more look at it here. So coming in there. Right there. It's a close touch and Stetson will get that point. So Ferguson gets the touch. Six to four, the score will move. So the serve will move over to Annabelle Standish, who has 18 aces coming in to this game, three of them coming in Stetson's previous game. Received by Freeman, set by Ferguson, slammed by Scherfranz, kept alive nicely on the back line by Madeline Gerald. Parsons tried to do it again, unable to do so. Gerald will take it. Behind her, she sets it for Djokovic. Ferguson now to put it back over for Johnson, takes a deflection, comes right over at us. And the Owls get the point. Much needed point there for Kennesaw State. Six to five, the Owls trail. Addie Gody back in to serve here for the Owls. It's gonna take a lot for Kennesaw, and I think that they felt that in that point. Emma swung so hard at it, they defended it, and they had to come at it again. They're gonna have to play hard to win tonight. Dug out by Ferguson, Freeman, sure Franz on the kill attempt, almost got it to find the floor. Nice job from Gerald to keep it alive. Ferguson pops it up one more time. Freeman, near side. Manu Johnson with the light tap, bounces around low, put over by Molina. Owls gonna have to keep touching it. Set for Ferguson, Johnson, kill attempt, gets blocked but lands out of bounds. Owls come out successful in the back and forth. The back and the fourth and the back and the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> this game has a lot of back and forth and back and forth, it seems like, doesn't it? Great from a fan perspective, but frustrating from a player. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Feel like you just can't get anything going in that. The momentum is just killed by that back and forth game. Gody one more time on the serve. Far side received from Djokovic. Set by Molina, Djokovic put it back over. Jasmine Brown one more time after the block. It's deflected towards the Stetson side. Standish finds the open space between Gody and McKinley Ferguson just towards the back line. Great heads up play by Naya. She knew that her front row options were out of pocket, so she went to the back row to Standish, who is playing amazing tonight, and she found the back deep court. Serve from Gerald, set from Ferguson, killed by Scherfranz. And Emma answers. Exactly what you're looking for there if you're Kennesaw State. Receive the serve, set it up, and let Emma Scherfranz do her thing. Simple. Emma Scherfranz gets her first kill on the night, been a little bit quiet for her standards. 
Molina, Djokovic, light tip, Johnson dives, keeps it up. Ferguson with the tip, lands inbounds on the far side. The bench loves that one, so does head coach Keith Shunzel. And Kennesaw to State takes a 8-7 lead here in set number two from the Convocation Center. Sure, Franz on the serve again. Gerald receives it, and a nice slam there. And that power coming in again from Elena Djokovic, the senior from Belgrade, Syria. What a beautiful, beautiful set. Elena was super tight to the net, so Josevic was one-on-one -on -one and able to just terminate it straight in the middle of the court. Djokovic, another player with a lot of accolades to her name, including A-Sun academic team. First had her be named A-Sun Volleyball Scholar Athlete of the Year as well. Deflection, maybe not at the net. I thought I heard a deflection, I don't know about you. Howell's gonna get the point and retake the lead nine to eight, but Stetson was thinking that there was a deflection. Yeah, think about how close it is every single time to be in a touch. I mean, you're literally hitting at hands, so almost every single time you could probably argue for a touch. Molina Djokovic one more time. That one finds the near side line. Again, coming in, finding her sixth kill on the night and her 23rd attack, two assists and five digs as well with one block to her name. Came in leading Stetson with the, in this game with 213 kills on the season. Misses on that serve and again, back and forth again. No team can get more than two points to their name right now. Owls go back in the lead, 10 to nine. Shelby Dennis on the serve. Glenn Owls with 365 digs in 2021. Gets another one there. Claire Parsons almost had the floor on that one. Will go up for the block. Tipped up. Kept alive. Dennis on that one. Van Trees finds the hands of Gerald. Light tip. Dig by Dennis. Ferguson sets. Van Trees deflection. Kept up by Djokovic. Molina. Far side. Off the hands of Parsons and Ferguson. She'll just take it herself and try and throw it over. Standish one more time. Kept up by Cole. Ferguson sets. Parsons with the kill. The Owls. Persistent. Get what they need on that one. Great play there from Kennesaw State. Wow. That will bring the crowd some energy. A long rally like that and ending it like that. Amazing back and forth. Amazing defense. Shelby had probably four digs in that one rally right there. Both sides just playing awesome volleyball. On the serve again, it's Dennis. Deflection. Dennis keeps it up. Ferguson sets. Johnson coming in from the back line. We'll just hit it over. Molina will set. Dennis keeps it up one more time. Johnson on the over. Does so. Almost a near collision between two sets and players. Blocked at the net by Kennesaw State, but falls on their side. And to the ground, Claire Parsons and Laney Van Trees, the two there. Sets and closes the lead to one. Shelby Dennis already in set number two with 11 digs so far, leading all players from both teams in tonight's game. No doubt. She's playing awesome defense for her team. Cole receives the serve. Ferguson sets. Van Trees tries to go for the far side line over to where the Stetson bench was. Leaves it a little bit long. And we're back tied at 11. Ferguson giving the play calls here to her defense. Alexis Thompson, the middle blocker on the serve. Cole keeps it up. Ferguson does the same. Van Trees puts it over and finds his near side line. And in the gray area for the Owls to take the lead back. That sneaky, sneaky line shot that Laney does so well. Nobody over there on defense. Nobody read that, thinking the block would take care of all that. But she has such a good turn right there down the line. McKinley Ferguson, junior from Jasper, Alabama, on the serve. Forces Gerald to go to the ground and keep it up. Nice job at the net there from Vitali to find the open space and get the ball on the ground. And again, no team able to pull away from one another. 12 to 12 in set number two. One thing we have seen an improvement of here, Lauren, as this game has gone down the road is hitting percentages for both teams have gone way up. It's Laney Van Trees on the far side. Forced Stetson to go low and 
That one hit off the hand, just flew back on the Kennesaw State side and out of bounds. Kennesaw State back in the lead. Howell's hitting 189, Setson hitting 221. Molina the set, Groom finds the tip and in the corner. What a very smart play by Sophia Groom. Nothing powerful, just, hey, back corner's wide open. I'm just gonna dink it over there in the corner. Leah Freeman will enter the game. But back to Sophia Groom, freshman from Orlando, Florida. And as a freshman, leading this team and hitting percentage, hitting 318 on the year. Johnson on the kill attempt, had Stetson standing still frozen. 14 to 13, Manu Johnson gets the Owls the point right back. Looks like Stetson has no idea how they got through their block. <laughs> Setter Sonner, it went through my left hand. I got you next time. Maddie Goaty back in to serve here for Kennesaw State. Puts it up and over. Vitaly to Djokovic. Ferguson there to just pop it up. Goaty on the set. Scherfranz on the light tap. Again, Stetson just having to stand in their tracks and the Owls lead by two. Smiles from head coach Keith Shunzel to serve it right now, Addy Goaty. Exactly what Kennesaw State needs is just a couple of points to get them going. Goaty on the serve, received by Gerald. Far side to Djokovic, Ferguson keeps it alive. Goaty, near side, Johnson again! Kennesaw State finding their rhythm. Three straight points, they lead by three. I love how Kennesaw staying aggressive. Stetson's trying to get a little shoddy, and Kennesaw's just staying really powerful, putting it to him. Kennesaw State on a 3-0 scoring run. 16-13 our score. Gerald, one more time back down. Jasmine Brown wasn't received cleanly by Gerald, as we're going to have a timeout taken here by Stetson. Kennesaw State leads by four, their largest lead here in set number two. When we come back, the final stages in set number two from the Convocation Center. Kennesaw State leads 17-13 to 13 here on the KSU Owl Network. at the Convocation Center. Kennesaw State forces Stetson into a timeout on a 4-0 scoring run. And Lauren, we were talking about it. It's a little bit more like what you're used to seeing here from this Kennesaw State volleyball team. Yes, powerful, running their offense, leading the way in offense, and not being phased by the other team. Addie Godier still on the serve here for Kennesaw State. Now was looking to tie this match up at one apiece. Service there, there out of the timeout from Stetson. So they close the lead back to three. That'll end the Kennesaw State scoring run. Dennis and Parsons will make their way back into the game. Serving will be Madeline Gerard for Stetson. 15 aces on the year for her. Had an awesome high school career as well as Manu Johnson gets the kill. McKinley Ferguson and Manu Johnson linking up a lot here tonight. Finding a lot of success here for the Owls. Yes, their connection is really, really good. Their timing is really awesome. And it's allowing Manu to see over the block. Top spin serve from Scherfranz. Molina blocked at the net by Kennesaw State. Jasmine Brown and Manu Johnson. Scherfranz gets low and keeps it up. Johnson on the far side. 
Wondering what the call is. Kennesaw State looks confused. And Coach Keith Chandra won't challenge it, just keeps it. Yeah, it looks like a... It looks like we're gonna replay the point, actually. Yep, referee called a back row on McKin McKinley, and she was actually front row, so she just owned it. She said, hey, we'll just replay that. And didn't unfortunately, work. it didn't go Kennesaw's way, but you hate to see things happen like that. Tough break, you know, you have them in volleyball. 18 to 15. As you mentioned a tough break there for Kennesaw State. Had, it almost looked like they had the point before having the replay. Maya Molina back in to serve here for Stetson. Ferguson sets. Jasmine Brown on the kill at Tim. Gerald keeps it up. Put back over by Standish. Dennis there to keep it up more. Van Trees turned the back line, puts it over. Gerald on the set. Near side, Vitali with the kill off the outside of the arms of Manu Johnson. I tell you what, she is having a heck of a night. She has 10 kills on 12 attempts and only one air. She's hitting 750. Seven digs to her name as well as an ace. Molina on the serve, dug out by Dennis, tipped over by Ferguson, popped back over on the owl side. Ferguson said, Jasmine Brown kill gets down. 19 to 16, the Owls lead by three. Really nice volleyball right there by Kennesaw. I love how they took the chaos and they they passed the first one really high, got in system and executed an offensive play. Manu Johnson on the serve here for the Owls. Kennesaw State trying to close this one out. Molina on the set. Owls at the net with Jasmine Brown on the block. Jasmine Brown, Kennesaw State's tied for the leading kill killer, I guess you should say, in this game with eight as long as, as well as Manu Johnson, who has eight as well. Brown hitting 400. Set by Molina. Blocked at the net by Van Treese and Brown. One more time. Blocked one more time by Kennesaw State. Brown pops it up. Ferguson. Van Treese on the kill. Takes a deflection. Molina will set up one more time. Tipped over, one-handed pump by Johnson to keep it alive. Van Trees, light tip over, takes a couple of deflections. Stetson keep it alive. Dennis pops it up. Ferguson sets. Manu Johnson puts it over. Stetson able to receive it cleanly. Djokovic on the far side. Ferguson keeps it. Caroline Cole to Laney Van Trees who puts it over. A lot of back and forth again. Vitali leaves it long. Kennesaw State prevails. That brought some life back into the Convocation Center. Stetson takes another timeout as we will as well. 21 to 16, our score here from the Convo. Kennesaw State leads, but trail in sets to Stetson, one to nothing. Kennesaw State finding a way to prevail in these long volleys that they're having with the Stetson Hatters. Back and forth we go as we keep talking about, but Jasmine Brown has been on fire here for Kennesaw State tonight, Lauren. Yes, absolutely. She's playing really smart. She's playing high level veteran volleyball is like what I would like to call it. She doesn't seem phased by all the defensive plays, all the chaoticness. She's just doing what she does best and finishing the ball. Brown, the senior from Powder Springs, Georgia, seventh in the A Sun and hit percentage. Hit 336 on the year, hitting 400 tonight. Leads the team as well in digs with 4.33 per set, fifth best in the A Sun. Manu Johnson on the serve, received by Djokovic, out of bounds, but put back over. Deflection at the net off the hands of Laney Van Treese, and again, 
Stetson out of a timeout, get a quick point. Again, <laughs> the setter. What a great one arm set out of system to Josevic. Djokovic on the serve. Ferguson sets. Jasmine Brown again trying to get her kill number up even more. Dennis on the set, tipped over by Van Trees, but deflection. Kennesaw State gets the point. 22 to 17. The Owls lead it by five. Their largest lead in any set tonight. And three away from winning set number two. Shelby Dennis on the serve. See by Djokovic. Alexis Thompson had to keep it up. Gerald will put it over. Ferguson will set for Claire Parsons. Kept up and punched over. Great, aware great awareness from Stetson. But Laney Van Trees finds the back corner. 23 to 17, Kennesaw State leads. Finding the momentum they lacked in set number one and bringing it in full force here in set number two. Great. Great execution right there by Laney. She was one-on-one, -on -one and she made him pay for it. Manu Johnson in the back, keeps it up. Claire Parsons again finds the corner, and the Owls one point away. 24 to 17. Fans will rise to their feet and put one finger in the air for match point as tradition. Dennis on the serve. Djokovic has to dig it up. Molina, far side, Standish finds an empty space on the far side to put it in the gray area. 24 to 18, closes the lead to six, but still a lot of work to do if they want to bring this one back. Alexis Thompson, the senior from Spring Hill, Florida, on the serve. Cole receives. Ferguson sets. Parson goes for the kill, but kept up. Molina to Cole. Ferguson far side, Van Trees deflection out of bounds. Owls win set two. Was looking a little shaky in the earlier stages, but the Owls found a way. 25 to 18, they take set number two. A longer break for this one, but when we come back, set number three, Owls with some work to do in order to take this match. me longer today it didn't take it depends but I'd say we're pretty even probably yeah yes me. <laughs> you should see your desk it's like pens 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 <laughs> pencils pencils everything's color-coded yes. like, I have a planner that's color-coded oh, I have like a whiteboard that's color-coded <laughs> <laughs> Emma can be very funny. They they're the ones that like come up with the jokes. I'm the one that like laughs at them. By far. <laughs> a lot. Since I can pick up a ball, really. I think we're both really good. Oh, I like to go pretty fast though. I think her break is really sensitive though. So true. I give her I give her some grace with that. I I'm not used to having people in my car, so you know I kind of take the turns a little fast, and then people are in my car, they're kind of. She's learning a lot more than me. <laughs> we haven't lived together long. We've been together for like what a, a week, week and a half. Yeah. I don't know. Probably me. I don't know. We're kind of even. We're both yeah. pretty clean. Her 100%. <laughs> not by much, not by much. No, I'm, I'm more of the early bird. I'm like yeah. in bed by 10, out by like seven or eight.
State takes set number two, 25 to 18, a little bit more lopsided of a score than you may think. Owls and Stetson playing it close, but Lauren, looking at some standout stats, the hitting percentage has kind of flipped from where it was early in set number two. At one point, Stetson was leading one, or excuse me, 221 to 189. Now, Kennesaw State leads in hitting percentage, 258 to 198. Is there anything else stats-wise that stands out to you right now? I think that McKinley started really spreading out her offense really, really well. That allowed that shift in the stats for Kennesaw to be more offensive. You saw Laney, Claire, Jasmine, they were all one-on-one -on -one right there in the very end, and that's because uh, Stetson essentially didn't know where that ball was going. And so the discipline block that we talked about early on in uh, set number one kind of faded away, and Kennesaw was able to pull away because of that. McKinley Ferguson with 24 assists through two sets. Season high currently sits at 61, which she had back on September 24th against Central Arkansas. So a little bit of more work to do to get there, but on a good track. But we were talking about it a little bit during the break is that it just feel like as that set went on, even for both sides though, Stetson wasn't scoring as much on the offensive side of things. The game feel like it opened up just a little bit more. Absolutely. I think we're going to continue to see, even though it seemed like Kennesaw had the bigger advantage at the end of that set, too. I think we're going to continue to see it be very much so. Lots of rally, lots of scrappiness. It's anyone's game right now. So if you're a player right now, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Someone has to get the three first. About to get back underway. Just confirming a couple of things. You see that Kennesaw State bench on top of your screen just... Getting excited and ready for set number three. Stetson gonna get it underway with Leilani Vitali on the serve. Cole gets low and digs it out. Ferguson Van Trees goes for the back, but misses it just a little bit long. Stetson, like they did in set number two, gets the first point. Vitali one more time. Cole has to go low, unable to get it high enough for Van Trees to be able to retrieve, and just like that, Stetson jumps out to an early 2-0 lead. Vitaly playing a little mind games here with Caroline Cole going a little short and going a little long. Leaves that one long, Ferguson with a chance to set, Van Trees rise it right back at Vitaly. Unable to make a play on it, and the Owls had their first point here in set number three. Shelby Dennis in to serve, Claire Parsons substituting in. Dennis leads Kennesaw State coming into today with 300 kills. Johnson, while falling, makes a nice play to keep it up. And set by Ferguson to Claire Parsons in the middle. And the Owls bring it back to I. Shelby Dennis, go ahead. Ferguson doing a great job just delivering the ball to everybody. Very, very clean in a great location. And that's what is opening it up for, opening up opportunities for the Owls. Sandish on the near side, blocked to the net by Ferguson and Parsons. Blocked one more time, as we're gonna have a net violation, I believe, on Kennesaw State. Stetson will get the point. Stetson jumps back out in front by one. Annabelle Standish 
Came in today leading Stetson with 244 points so far this season. Cole receives, Parsons puts it over after Ferguson just tipped it to her. Groom finds the back line open space. Manu Johnson couldn't dive there in time and just like that, Stetson back out in front by two. Cole receives the serve, Ferguson will set it. Johnson will get the kill over towards their own Stetson bench. Vitaly tried to direct it, but was unable to. Seeing it a little bit more now here, Lauren, is that it seems like these Stetson players are starting to stretch out their shoulders a little bit. Saw it a little bit more in between sets two and three, but now seeing a lot more players doing it. Does this kind of game with how back and forth it's been have an effect on a player? Yeah, you're probably going to see at the at the end of the night the times attempted for I mean for example um, Joseph Vick right here number ten who was stretching her shoulder she's already at 30 attempts and we're only in set going in the very beginning of set three um, so it is going to be a long night and we'll have to see who holds up. Ferguson got the ace. Owls are able to tie it up. Van Trees on the kill attempt kept alive by Standish. Molina will set. Vitaly will just get the light tip dug out by. Shelby Dennis, Manu Johnson goes for the center of the floor. A couple of hatters converge there, but Claire Parsons jumps up and gets her hands in front of Djokovic. Owls take their first lead here in set number three. Ferguson on her third straight serve. Owls on a 2-0 scoring run. Light serve, and Tally has to dive for it. Djokovic. Goes far side, Dennis kept it up. Ferguson sets, lands on the floor. Laney Van Trees gets credit with that kill. Laney Van Trees is having a heck of a night so far. She's seen the court really well. She's either hitting straight through the line or straight through the blocker's hands, and it's hard to defend how, how hard she hits. Laney Van Trees had a season high 11 kills versus North Alabama back over a month ago versus North Alabama, as I mentioned. Stetson gets the point there. Seven kills, only four away from tying that season high here tonight. And on the pace she's doing that, has a good shot to do, do so. Yeah, Lainey, Manu, and Danny, they, they alternate here and there. And this is a great opportunity for Lainey to show that, that she's very useful for the Owls. Sure, Franz keeps it up. Lainey Van Trees gets a deflection, and it'll land out of bounds. Give that kill number eight for Lainey Van Trees. Owls finding a way to battle through the hard points, the deflections. Fantrice here on the serve. Goes directly at Standish. Molina will set for the far side. Thompson tipped it over. Ferguson will set for Parsons. Low hits the net of net judge, I should say. <laughs> Kennesaw State extends their lead to three, eight to five. First time we see Beatrice Vossen coming in here for Stetson. Only played in one set last game. Had one kill, a dig, and one point. Sophomore from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Received by Djokovic. Thompson with the tip. Nice job from Scherfranz to keep it up. Johnson on the kill attempt, gets down. Threw a hand at it, got it over. And Manu Johnson enters double digits. And the kill column tonight, 25 attacks in 360 so far here at the Convo on this Friday night. Van Trees again on the serve, Djokovic receives. Vossen, Ferguson now, here's Dennis. Sure, Franz goes for the back line and finds it. Emma Scherfranz forces the Stetson Hatters to call timeout. Lauren can't ask for a much better rebound in set number three here for Kennesaw State. Absolutely. Kennesaw came out firing. This is the Kennesaw State that we've been used to seeing here play in the combo. Exactly what you're looking for for Kennesaw State. And if you look, you know, you have to wonder, whenever you guys went down a set at home, what was the message from Coach Keith that got you guys back motivated 
and able to come back in those kind of games. Typically, we just would take it one set at a time. You know, if you drop a set, you have to let that set roll because there's there's a lot more volleyball to play. And um, he does a really good job of keeping the girls present, not making moments too big, not making them too small, but um, point by point and timeout by timeout. He's about to come and sit with that clipboard right now and tell them the next play, not the next 20 plays. Just, hey, this is what we're going to come out here and do this next play. Um, and he does a great job of keeping the girls present and keeping the momentum rolling when it needs to be rolling too. We've seen it so far here tonight. Normally, after every timeout that Stetson has called, they've been able to get that point. Now I'm going to try and change that here with this one. They lead it by five. And at this point in a set, this is the largest lead that either team has had all night. Right, you know, and with all due respect with Stetson's coaching staff and they tend to do this sometimes. They pulled their, their best setter out. They pulled their best hitter out right now. And for resting reasons, I'm not sure, for just coaching and looks like they're giving them feedback, but it, it just creates a di bigger hole when you when you change up your offense like that. Blocked at the net by Sherfronz. Owls get the point again. 11 to five and with someone like that getting taken out, what does it do to the team kind of mojo? Does it change it at all with a kind of a mindset thing for any, anybody on the floor? I would say when it's your setter and your, your hitter that's hitting 500 tonight, <laughs> absolutely. You know, you were probably looking to both of them to make big moment plays, to execute in big moments and to score. Um, and so now, you know, I'm sure the girls that come in, you know, they can do their job too. Everyone can play volleyball, but um, you kind of shift a lot of leadership on the floor. Vantrese on the serve, Djokovic on the set, put over by Standish, and Manu Johnson with the dive. Owls able to get the point. Claire Parsons gets the kill. Owls coming alive, they now lead by seven. It's a six and oh scoring run. Claire Parsons finds her seventh kill on the night. Couple of owls nearing double digit kills. Manu Johnson already there. Van Tree serving once more. Vitali back in. Gerald, Djokovic will have to put it over. She does block at the net and it'll land out of bounds. I believe that was Emma Scherfranz with the block there. Owls now lead by eight. Leilani and Naya are put back in the game and we'll see if it makes we'll see if it makes a difference for their team. Tally leading the Hatters in kills with 10 on 15 attacks, hitting over 500 and nine digs as well. Owls and Laney Van Trees leave that serve long. Gives the point back to Stetson. And Naya Molina will serve. Freeman back in for Kennesaw State. She received the serve. Johnson gets the kill attempt and goes to 11. Manu Johnson having a great night here versus Stetson. She absolutely is. She's seen the court so well. You know, is it the connection with McKinley? Is it how high she jumps? We may never know, but it, it's really working for her. Addie Godey in for the serve. Djokovic receives, Molina sets, Thompson goes for the kill. Cody tried to save it, was unable to do so, and Parsons and Dennis will come back in. So Djokovic will have to serve one more time. 14 to seven, the Owls lead in set number three. Bryce Gobert, Lauren Chastang here from the Convocation Center, deflection. That judge had the point going Stetson's way, far official, far side official, I should say, had point going the Owls' way, saw an deflection, will go with Kennesaw State point. Again, the Owls lead back out to eight, it's 15 to seven. Sure, Franz on the top spin. Collision there between two Stetson defenders, able to get the ball back up, but not over. Jasmine Brown and Manu Johnson on the block. Brown with her second block on the night. Johnson with her first. Sherfron's on a hard serve. 
Djokovic, or excuse me, that's Vitali on the far side. Got the kill off a deflection and out of bounds off a Kennesaw State player on that far side. Still trail by eight, Du Stetson. Alexis Thompson on the serve. Second on the Stetson team, an attacking percentage hitting 281 as the Owls get another point there. The Owls are just playing really consistent, really clean volleyball. You can definitely tell the roles have shifted, whereas Stetson was super comfortable, really relaxed, just playing their game. Now Kennesaw has taken a deep breath, and now they're, they're definitely in control, and you can feel it in the combo, too. Near collision between Djokovic and Standish. Ball gets over, Ferguson sets far side, point Stetson. Looks like they're gonna call a double hit on Kennesaw State. Leilani Vitali on the serve. Cole receives, Ferguson with the one hand keeps it up. Dennis will put it over. Vitali, far side for Standish, blocked and hit over just behind us. Just out of the camera view. Came flying at us like it did in warm up for oh no, him. I'm gonna pull my shoulder. I, I <laughs> had such fast reflexes. That was coming in hot. Made it out alive and we're still able to call the game. That's all that matters. Service there, there on Stetson. 18 to 10, Owls lead back out to eight. This is always a tough spot when you're Stetson and you're down 17 to 10. You're like, okay, do we, or 18 to 10, excuse me. So you're like, how do you get excited about things? What is what is niche, uh, chipping away at the score? What is just playing, you know? And this is always a tough position to be in. Standish finds the arms directly of Shelby Dennison. Once again, McKinley Ferguson fakes the set, just goes for the kill instead, and finds it. Owls lead by nine. Does it so well, we cannot mention it enough. Especially with that left-handed Strong hand, kept up, have to be put over oh, wow. by Gerald. It will be, nice play by Stetson. Set by Ferguson. Far side for Van Trees and she gets it. <laughs> 20 to 10. Owls finally starting to find their mojo in set number three. Dennis one more time on the serve. Molina will set, far side for Standish. Like she was in the net. Kennesaw State will get the point, and just like you said, net violation. 21 to 10. Dennis again on the serve. 17 aces coming into today. For Shelby Dennis. Sandish on the near side. Dennis tried to get the set. Head coach Fuchenzel on the far side, just trying to keep it up for the Owls. Unfortunately, won't count for him. 21 to 11, now the score. Annabelle Standish, the outside hitter, the junior from Palm Beach Garden, Florida. Red line Cole receives, Ferguson sets. Johnson kill attempt, deflects it off the net. Djokovic will keep it up. Standish from the back line, puts it over. Kennesaw State. Ball bouncing around, Stetson will finally settle. Far side, Djokovic. Shelby Dennis tried to keep it up. Goes wow. over on the back, on the black side of the court. I'm not sure if they're, we don't have the instant replays tonight, but that went off Laney's shoulder to defend it. Stetson slowly chipping away, 21 to 12. Cole to Ferguson, to Parsons. Diving effort by Gerald to keep it up. Stetson doing a nice job. Both of these teams battling for the points as they can. Kennesaw State and Laney Van Trees hits it into the block, lands out of bounds. Owls now lead again by 10. I love how aggressive Kennesaw State, they're just coming at them at all cylinders right now. Staying really, really powerful. Ferguson on the serve, Molina on the set, tried to do the same thing that McKinley Ferguson does to her and did it successfully. Ferguson almost got down in time to get a hand under the ball, but 
was just a little bit late. Madeline Gerald on the serve. A C by Dennis, set by Ferguson, slam by Claire Parsons. Gets the kill. She's creeping up on double digits tonight. Eight kills on 17 attempts. Thompson tried to get the kill, blocked at the net. Owls keep it alive. Go for the far side set, but unable to do so. Ferguson pops it up for Dennis. Scherfranz, kill, blocked at the net, still kept alive. Far side, Johnson with the tip over, finds a fingertip. Point, Kennesaw, Kennesaw State. Smart play. She was in a tough, tough position right there, and she still found the hands. But it looks like we might have a challenge coming up. But she still found the hands to try to swipe it off of them. Stetson going to go for review here. Looking for a, possibly a double hit here is what we're hearing for the official review. And we'll take a look at the replay. So here's the kill attempt by Scherfranz. That is blocked. One. There's Claire Parsons, McKinley Ferguson, Manu Johnson on the far side. Try and see maybe if it takes a deflection. I think that's what they might be looking for. Yeah, because I, I'm, I don't think you can challenge a double, so it has to be deflection right here. It's, it's, I guess they're saying that it missed her hands, but. It's a close call. So yeah. Kennesaw State hoping that this point stands to get to match point 24 to 2013. Excuse me, the current score. If it does change, it'll be 23 to 14. Waiting on the call. Those are the type of situations where you go to your player. You're like, okay, did it actually touch you or not? And tell me the truth because I'm going <laughs> to use a challenge here. So. so the point does get reversed. Kennesaw State... We'll leave that point to Stetson, 23 to 14. Naya Molina on the serve here for Stetson. The Hatters bench trying to get their team motivated. Sure, Franz, deflection on the kill attempt. Vitali. Dug out by Freeman, Ferguson near side, Scherfranz finds the floor. Ferguson finding her attackers again. Yeah, I love how Ferguson repeated back to Scherfranz. The whole team is hitting over 400, and, and Scherfranz, someone who's not typically more of the quiet player, is having more of a quiet night, and I love how she repeated to her again and allowed her to show herself. One point to go. Addie Godey in, Owls make a couple of substitutions, trying to take a lead in the sets, two to one. Thompson finds the inside line, a close call. So Dennis and Claire Parsons will come back in as Addie Godey exits. 24 to 15, Owls still lead by nine here in set number three. Looking for a chance to close it out in set four if they win this one. Djokovic on the serve, received by Freeman. Ferguson sets. Far side, Manu Johnson, kept alive by Standish. Thompson. Stetson working really well together right now to not give Kennesaw State an easy set. 24-16. Absolutely. And if you're Stetson, this is exactly what you're, if you're a coach, if you're the leader on the team, you're telling your team, hey, it doesn't matter, but just play hard, that you have to build that momentum for the next set no matter what. Ferguson to Scherfranz and the Owls take set three. I love it. We see it all the time and it continues tonight. Emma Scherfranz finally getting hot. Owls take set number two, 25 to 16. And a chance to close it out in set number four.
Leah. For sure. Me? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, I said I was messier, so I have to. Yeah. yeah. Probably me. You yeah. seem like you could take a lot. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I'll cry. Poor oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to say yourself. I, but you're funny though. Like, Where? Are, I love you. Your car's in the shop. Okay. You okay, it. okay, but you drive <laughs> slow, like a little, just a little bit, just a little, <laughs> but it's okay. <sighs> Down, <laughs> the first time I met her, she cooked me well, shrimp alfredo. Yeah. I was like, sheesh. You? I mean, I don't want to be me. Me for sure. Probably me, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I, I hold up in you. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> The Kennesaw State regulars of Shelby, or excuse me, Danny Ballou and Emma Scherfranz have been a little bit quiet tonight, but that leaves room for players like Laney Van Trees to find a way to bloom and have a game like this one. You look at her stat line right now, 10 kills on 18 attacks with a 444 hit percentage. I mean, if you're Laney Van Trees, this is exactly what you want if you're if you're in looking from the eyes of head coach Keith Shunzel. Yeah, absolutely. The great thing about this team, um, they all have a great teammate relationship, right? And so everyone's cheering for everybody. Um, I think that it's never been anyone's doubt that Laney could perform like this. I just think that this team is deep, like Coach Heath has been saying all season. And so, you know, if someone's a little quiet one night, you know, the great news is, is there's another great person right there able to execute and lead the Owls and, and lead the way tonight, which is awesome for Laney. You just see it now, the Owls just, they look loose. Stetson very serious on the other side. Owls just look like they're having fun. It was a little bit of a different story after set one when Stetson took it 25 to 22, but the Owls and the following two, 25-18, 25-16. Looking to take this one three to one. Kennesaw State gonna have to battle with a Stetson team that has proven that they can beat this Owls team, but have had it tough here at the Convocation Center. Set three, excuse me, set four, just about underway. Still waiting on a couple of confirmations. Finally get a Manu Johnson on the serve here for Kennesaw. Played in the da Danish Volleyball League from 2019 to 2020 and was the best scorer when she played. Molina sets, Vitali returns it, Cole pops it up, near collision with McKinley Ferguson, deflection at the net, diving save from Gerald. Standish this time, still kept up, and again, we go back and forth. Dennis pops it over, Molina sets, far side for Vitali. nice job from Dennis to dig it out, Jasmine Brown with the one hand, pops it over. Owls go for the block, they get it, but it lands in mounds, Stetson Comes out and take, takes the first point just like they've done in the previous two sets. Yes, and not easy for either teams right there. Some huge digs, Shelby Dennis on the other side, libero versus libero. Um, and sets is not going away, and they made it really apparent, first point. Ferguson, far side, Van Trees tried to line up the kill. Blocked at the net, she'll try it one more time. Deflection by Vitali and Thompson. Vitali on the kill attempt deflection. I'm gonna have a wish of the whistle, and it looks like Stetson's gonna get a point here for a violation. Net violation on the block right there. Two nothing. Stetson leads here in set number four. 
Djokovic on the serve. Cole receives it. Ferguson sets it. Jan, Jan, excuse me. Jasmine Brown went for the kill. Van Trees will try one more time. Popped up. Djokovic going to have to save it. And the ball going to have to go over. Molina will do it on that hit. Johnson far side. Van Trees with the light tap. Takes a couple deflections. Won't be put over and enough hits. Kennesaw State gets their first points here in set number four. Three points that have felt like seven different points right there. <laughs> a lot of volleying, volleying here from these two teams. Not quick points that they have been. They've just been extended and drawn out. Vitali to Cole who pops it up. Van Trees with the light tap over. Molina will set it. Here near side for Vitali. Dennis will pop it up. Ferguson will set. Johnson will go for the kill. Popped up high and close to out of bounds. Having to be careful due to the tables over on the far side was Molina way high up in the air towards the flag. Ferguson to Claire Parsons. Just misses that one out of bounds. A good set there from Ferguson. Owls just couldn't capitalize. <laughs> Again, you see that a lot in outdoors. Them uh, taking that really high free ball and it, it makes the wind and everything like some kind of factor. You don't see that a lot in indoors, but it makes it hard on the offense to have a good free ball. Alexis Thompson has a service there there. Kennesaw State gets a free point. McKinley Ferguson will serve. Caroline Cole will exit for Emma Scherfranz. McKinley Ferguson on the serve. Leads the Owls and Aces coming into today with 33. Set by Molina. Standish fires it right at the hands of Shelby Dennis. Manu Johnson tries to find the back corner. Couldn't quite get it down in time. And Stetson leads it by two. I'd be curious what is Shelby's um, season high so far because she is playing some awesome, awesome defense tonight. Season high was 27 digs versus North Alabama. She's currently sitting at 24, so on track to break that season high tonight. Absolutely she is. Alina puts it over. Dennis pops it up. Ferguson sets. Laney Van Trees with the light tap, and it gets down. There she is again, Laney Van Trees. Sets a new season high for kills with 12 here tonight. Great play right there. Went off speed, and she's been hitting so hard all night that the Hatters were on their heels right there, and they weren't expecting that. Drying up the floor real quick. Her and McKinley Ferguson lead the Owls in hitting percentage, both hitting 400. 12 kills on 25 attacks and two airs for Laney Van Trees tonight. Here she is on the serve. Finds Gerald Molina sets far side to Standish, blocked. Sent over one more time by Standish. Dennis gets low and gets that one. Johnson popped up high in the air again. Molina, Standish one more time. Van Trees on the back line to keep it up. Still doing it and the Owls keep it up. Ferguson dives for it. Net violation, Owls get the point. Bouncing around everywhere. Tennessee State prevails. Such high level volleyball is being played tonight. And I know Coach Keith loves to see the Owls playing as big as defense as they always do offense. And he talked about that early on in the season, a little bit more from the defensive side. Um, and they are doing it tonight. Shelby Dennis is doing everything. See head coach Keith Shunzel there. Leading another successful season of Kennesaw State Volleyball here for this team. Done such a good job this season of getting the girls motivated to the point they're at at this point in the season with a chance to go into first tonight in sole possession. Blocked at the net by Scherfranz and Parsons. Gonna be put over by Molina. Dennis digs low one more time. Almost had another one. Couldn't get her hands under it. She's up to 25. Stetson leads it by one now, five to four. Leah Freeman comes back into the game for Laney Van Trees. 
is Annabelle Standish, an outside hitter here for Stetson will serve. Freeman receives, Ferguson sets, Scherfron goes for the light tap, kept up by Gerald, popped up this time by Molina. Dennis couldn't quite control that one off the hard kill attempt from Vitali. Stetson extends their lead back out to two. Ferguson, far side, Johnson blocked, lands out of bounds. Kennesaw State gets the point. Manu Johnson with the hard enough hit to just hit off the hands and takes the right angle on the deflection to land out of bounds. Owls trail by one, Goaty back in for serving. Leaves it just too long. And a little bit too much under it as Dennis and Parsons will make their way back in. Yeah, that ball just got floating and floating. The knuckle never, it never bit. Gerald on the serve, Ferguson the set, far side, Jasmine Brown. Gerald gets low and keeps it up. Tipped over by Standish, takes a deflection off the net. Ferguson, Jasmine Brown keeps it alive. One more time, sure fronts from the outside, unable to get it to find the floor. Leaving it long. Claiming deflection was Stetson. And it looks like they're gonna get the point. I almost thought they had that one. Yeah, it was a late call there. I I, both teams were cheering for something different. <laughs> Looks like head coach Keith Schunzel won't go for the challenge. So Stetson's lead out to eight, or excuse me, out to three. They lead eight, five. Freeman receives, Ferguson sets, Johnson kill, attempt deflection, hits the floor. Able to get back and you see the bench gets excited. Only trailing by two now. Scherfron's gonna be looking to get some aces here and get her team back in this one. The lethal top serve spin on the way. A lot of dip on that one. Johnson goes for the kill attempt off the return from Vitali. Hits off her arms as she was getting back up. Johnson's up to 14. Two away from her season high versus Queens, which was 16 at the beginning of the month of October. Getting under it with Standish. Molina on the set. Djokovic with the light tip. Johnson one more time, trying to find the floor. She does, she's up to 15. Manu Johnson and Laney Van Trees. The pair for the Owls that has done the damage tonight. Johnson. 15 kills on 37 attempts with 12 digs and a block to her name. Scherfron served, dug out by Standish. At the net, Owls had to put it over, unable to do so, just kept getting under it and behind it, not able to do much there, Lauren. Yeah, a lot of tick for tack things right there. Looking for someone to kind of, all right, let's take it away here, get a run. A lot of back and forth again, like we felt like in the first set. Dennis Ferguson tried to go for that sneaky kill attempt, but standing there and waiting for it was Alexis Thompson. Lead back out to two for the Hatters. Molina one more time on the serve, goes opposite corner to Cole. Ferguson will set Manu Johnson off the arm of Djokovic. Dennis with the dive. Johnson, kill attempt, finds the floor. And there it is, Manu Johnson doing it all here for Kennesaw State, breaking her new season high in kills in a game with 17 tonight. Owls trail by one. Trying to close this one out. Received by Djokovic, set by Molina, blocked by Thompson. Djokovic keeps it up. Vitali with the tap over. Jasmine Brown thought McKinley Ferguson was behind, left it, nobody was there. And again, Stetson leads by two. Owls having 
trouble finding that momentum and the swings they had in yeah. set number two and three. Yeah, I definitely say it's more so the runs, you know, everyone from Kennesaw is hitting about 400, which is awesome. Um, but they just haven't been able to keep the serve so far in this fourth set. So looking for someone to just keep the ball, keep the serve, go on a little bit of a run and build those up. Jasmine Brown has now her 10th kill and the 10th owl and double digit kills tonight. Or excuse me, the third owl and double digit kills tonight. Molina far side, no owl able to be there and defend the back line. Manu Johnson was the last line but couldn't dive there in time. Owl's able to close the lead to one point but that's about as close as they're getting. Stetson able to just extend it every time after the Owls win one, Stetson wins one. We see Lauren Vargo come into the game. Sophomore from Oviedo, Florida. Only played in one set last game. Ferguson sets, far side, Van Trees blocked. Out of bounds, smart play there from Laney Van Trees and the court awareness to know where she's at and where that ball's landing. Yeah, that's the ideal situation. You have your team behind you either there to cover or telling you to just get out of the way, it's out. Kenley Ferguson on the serve. Light serve, Gerald comes forward. Just tapped over. Ferguson will set, Claire Parsons! We're back tied. Kennesaw State not going away. Both teams are doing a really good job of FBKing, which means first ball killing. They're, they're siding out, they're not allowing any runs, which is always a good thing if you're a coach. But at some point, you also have to be able to play some defense. Ferguson with the hard serve. Gerald's attempt to keep it up, left it going back over to Kennesaw State's side. So he'll have a better pop on this one. Standish, Dennis will take it. Pops it up for Ferguson. Van Trees with a light tip, finds the floor. Didn't get all of that one. She knows it. You can tell by her facial expression. You're absolutely right. She's like, oh, thank you. We'll take that one however we can get it, she says. Bench loves it too. Ferguson again on the serve. Received by Vitali. Johnson keeps it alive on the back line. Sure fronts, finds the corner. Owls out to a 14 to 12 lead on a 4 0 scoring run. And trying to take this game into their control. Ferguson again on the serve. 48 assists to her name tonight, one service ace. Received by Gerald. Popped up by Djokovic. Standish had her kill attempt blocked. We'll try it one more time. Dennis digs it out of there and keeps it alive. Van Trees with the kill attempt. Girard gets low. Blocked at the net by Parsons and Van Trees. Manu Johnson keeps it up. Ferguson backwards. Scherfranz blocked, still alive. Ferguson. Manu Johnson back line gets down. The bench erupts. The crowd erupts. Kennesaw State prevails again. It seems like these long points, Kennesaw State is finding a way. Stetson calls timeout, 15 to 12, our score. Kennesaw State leads 15 to 12, heading to a break. We'll be back in just a couple moments. My old coach, there, like she told me, she told, talked really highly about him. And it was like based on the conversations, I felt like I connected the best with this program comparing to some of the other ones I talked with. I do like the colors, I feel like it suits my skin. Jumping? Okay, I'll say jumping then. I started playing when I was 12, back home in a town called Vloa. And the team was named Vloa. I actually like to listen to music depending on my mood. So if I'm super happy, I like listening to that. And if I'm in, in a mood, I like to like listen to that song and like cry it out and then I'm ready. Because we're awesome. Ooh, ooh. 
Manu Johnson, one of the Kennesaw State Owls, along with Laney Van Trees, Jasmine Brown, Claire Parsons, having one of the nights of their life as a volleyball player. Johnson, 18 kills, hitting 375, 14 digs in a block. I mean, that's one of the nights you kind of dream of if you're a volleyball player, Lauren. Yeah, things are going well offensively, defensively. A double-double, a great hitting percentage on top of that. It, it is one of the nights where you look back and you're like, I just wasn't thinking about anything. I was just playing my best and being free out there. Owls on a 5-0 scoring run. They lead it by 3, 15 to 12. Molina sets. Vitali attempt on the kill. Out of the timeout, they don't get the point. Head coach Young Din for Stetson shakes her head. Not happy with that one. 16 to 12. The Owls extend their lead and extend the scoring run to 6 to 0. Ferguson again. The tally tipped back over by Van Trees. They have to play it out of the net. Nice job there in the net front presence by Sophia Groom. We finally saw our first run by Kennesaw here and, and put a little bit of gap in between the Hatters and the Owls. And now we're gonna see how, if we go back and forth, if we, we stop the run, uh, what the Hatters can do right here. Dennis has to get low. Ferguson has to play it out of the net. Sure, Franz will have to put it over. Molina will set it back over. Dennis will pop it up. Just out of the reach of Emma Scherfron. So Owl's making a couple of errors here. And they're giving Stetson some free points. 16 to 14. Score back within two. Stetson hitting 201 tonight. Kennesaw State hitting 321. Both teams with a couple errors. And there's another one by Manu Johnson. 16 to 15. Yeah, it's always a tough angle when it's coming from behind your shoulder to wait on it to then try to put it in the court, see the court. But this is what you didn't want if you were Kennesaw to give back the run that you just created. Kennesaw State with their 12th attacking air on the night, but get a point back there from Claire Parsons. And that has the players on the court hyped. Laney Van Trees. 14 kills, hitting 429, two digs. Leaves the serve a little long, 17 to 16. As Leah Freeman will come in for her. I have a feeling here this one's gonna end with some drama here, Lauren. <laughs> Absolutely. 17 to 16 here in set number four. Now Stetson leaves the serve long with Annabelle Standish. Owls lead back out to two. Addie Goaty coming back in. Shelby Dennis and Claire Parsons will make way. Bounces the ball a couple times and finally will put it over. Gerald receives, Molina sets, Groom. Looks like it was in from where we were at. Line judge. Helen Williams on this near side says it was out. Stetson won't challenge. Owls extend the lead to three, 19 to 16. Yeah, you know that they would have been arguing for the for the point there. So they seem to be content with the, the little error right there and want to move on. Gerald far side, Djokovic. <laughs> Looks like it took a deflection. Off one of the Kennesaw State players in the back line and out of bounds. So Stetson will get the point, 19 to 17. Yeah, started at the block deflection, which made it hard for Addy to try to get a dig off that. It changes the trajectory of the ball. Far side, sure, Franz goes opposite side of the court. Djokovic will try and get the slam and kill, but Freeman there to keep it alive. Johnson, again, just a little bit early on it, coming down whenever she was hitting that ball. Hits it directly into the net, and just like that, we're back to a one-point game. 19 to 18, Kennesaw State leads in set number four. If the Owls win this set, they take the match, and there's an ace there from Madeline Gerald, her first one here tonight. Excuse me, her second one here tonight. Kennesaw State will take a timeout. 
making that her 17th on the season. So Kennesaw State got out to a little bit of a gap and a lead, but Stetson not making it any easy on them. Now back tied up at 19 and a little bit reminiscing of set number one here, Lauren. Yeah, you can see that some some of the high offensive plays that Kennesaw had had in the in early on, you know, third set, early into the fourth set, has kind of started to creep back because when sets and plays defense like they are and like they did in the first set, it makes it hard as a hitter. You know, you you feel as if you should change something. You know, do I do I change my swing? Do I try to hit to a different spot? Um, and so when you have a really consistent stats and defense like that, it puts more pressure on Kennesaw and they just gotta continue to push forward. Like there's gonna be matches like this, but Stetson's not going away and, and they never do. They're, they're always that team that never will. And, um, but Kennesaw knows that. And I think that's why they still come out of the huddle early and super relaxed, just more so trying to stop, stop momentum right here. Stetson in, in set number one was down at one point, 17 to 20. They went on a five and oh scoring run and made it 22 to 20. Here in set number four, Stetson was down 19 to 16. Right now they're on a 3-0 scoring run and it's 19 to 19. Ferguson sets up Brown for the kill. Kennesaw State stops the scoring run right there, dead in its tracks and retake the lead, 20 to 19. Emma Scherfranz, a little bit more of a run up here for this serve, the high toss with the top spin. Standish able to receive it. Djokovic on the far side. Gets in on the near side line. A close call there. Sets in back tied. What a Caroline beautiful Cole swing. coming in. My bad. What a beautiful swing right there. I mean, that is a hard, hard angle to hit. She is just very, very much so. You don't know what Djokovic's gonna do. Off speed or she has the power. She just doesn't use it often anymore. Ferguson tried to go for the slam, thought maybe it took a deflection, didn't quite hit off of a fingertip of a Stetson Hatter, so the Owls trail 21 to 20. Just a little bit long there, but not a bad choice. Molina on the serve, received by Freeman. Ferguson sets far side, Jasmine Brown deflected. She'll take it back. Ferguson sets far side, Manu Johnson takes a deflection off a of fingertip. Stetson able to keep it up, Djokovic. Jasmine Brown, or excuse me, Manu Johnson will keep it up. Jasmine Brown with the far tip. Kept up by Standish. One more time at Standish, deflected and falls to the floor. Ferguson couldn't quite get to it. Setson now lead by two, 22 to 20. A beautiful swing right there by Standish out of the backcourt. She hasn't had like a really loud night when we, talk, when we look at the stats, but she has made a lot of ruckus though for Kennesaw State. She has been fed a lot. She hits the ball hard. Kennesaw has dug her a lot, but she's just been very consistent digging and hitting. Taking a look at now some stats here as we are closing down set number four. Quick reminder, if we do, if Setson does win this, we will go to a fifth set, only to 15, however. So a little bit shorter of a game. If the Owls win, they'll be able to take this one and move on and focus tomorrow towards FGCU. And now looking at those stats, Owls lead in kills with 14 more, 64 to 50. Stetson with four more attacking errors, 18 in comparison to Kennesaw's 14. Both teams hitting in the 200% range. Stetson 206, Kennesaw 298. But it just feels like this game is so much more even than what some of these stats are showing. We talked about how the stats were kind of evening out later in set number one, but now it kind of seems like they're starting to get skewed sets and finding a way to make those stats make this game look close yeah you take set number three out of the picture and you probably see that the kills are kill for kill the digs are dig for dig um even the the blocks are dig, uh, block for block uh set three got away from stetson but now we're, we're neck and neck molina on the serve freeman receives ferguson sets johnson's Kill blocked at the net, but lands on the Stetson side. Vitaly couldn't direct it back over to the Owls side of the floor. 21-22, Laney Van Treese makes her way back in for Leah Freeman. Manu Johnson to serve. Predicted drama, and that is exactly what it's coming down to. Johnson with 19 kills, yet to have an ace on the night. 
Will she be able to get the first one here? Saved by Djokovic, tipped up. Dennis with a great dive to keep it up. Johnson will just put it over. Gerald keeps it up. One more time, great play by Johnson to keep it alive. Owls able to get the point and tie this game at 22. Not going away. Shelby Dennis is having, I cannot say it enough, such an amazing night for her team. That was her 30th big right there. Manu Johnson again on the serve, tied at 22. Hopped up, Vitaly on the kill attempt, blocked at the net. Ferguson and Brown combine. Timeout, Stetson. Kennesaw State leads it by one. Faced adversity and on the way back, two away from winning set number four. 23 to 22, they lead. this owl squad able to find a couple of nitty gritty points 23 22 johnson still on the serve owls on a 3-0 scoring run stetson takes the timeout to try and calm down this owls run djokovic keeps it up melina sets vitaly on the far side dennis keeps it alive ferguson jasmine brown the owls are one away What a swing right there by Jasmine. Cutting him back to this setting to zone six right there. And it's just so hard to defend. Her little fast hand, she jumps so high. Awesome fed by McKinley. Jasmine Brown. Manu Johnson on the serve. And it looks like we're gonna have an air that the Owls are gonna win off of. Looks like Stetson was out of rotation right there in Kennesaw State. Saw it, called it on them. Essentially, you, you gotta stand in a certain order. You can't pass somebody before the ball served, and they did, and it's just a, a little error that paid off. Not how we thought that that game would end, but nonetheless, the Owls take the win. 25 to 22. Kennesaw State found a way to do it. We're gonna get a chance to talk with Head coach Keith Shundel and I believe Laney Van Trees. But what a game here from this Kennesaw State Owls squad. It was looking a little bit rough, but the Owls found a way. Manu Johnson with 20 kills on the night. Laney Van Trees with 14 of them on 28 total attacks, hitting 429 on the night and two digs. Now with a chance to be joined here by Laney Van Trees. Laney, what a game that was. How exciting was that to play in? Um, it's obviously a very important game for us tonight. You know, we pulled together this dig team game at the last second, and Stetson's always a team that's very good, very scrappy, and hard to play against. So being able to get that win at home was really huge for us, especially going into tomorrow. Well, at what point did you kind of feel that you were just having yourself a game and we were just looking at the stats 14 <laughs> kills a new season high what was it like to have that kind of game and this important of a game well this game was extra important for me just given you know having the relationship with lauren's mom my mom as well like it, it means a lot to me so the fact that i got to you know come in and play i knew my teammates were behind me and i knew that i just wanted to have fun and play for them 
Lauren, you got anything for her? Yeah, I mean, you absolutely did, girl. You you were free out there. You executed every opportunity. And I told them, I said, look, everyone knows that Lainey can do it. I'm just glad that she got the opportunity to do it tonight. Well, Lainey, congratulations on the win. Final question I have for you is now moving forward, FGCU tomorrow night. What do you guys have to do against a tough squad that will be coming into the combo? I think we have to take the momentum that we got tonight and carry it into tomorrow. You know, obviously we would have loved to finish this in three, but to be able to go to battle tonight to prepare for how hard it's going to be tomorrow is huge for us. And to finish on a win, we get to carry that energy and that momentum into the next game and do the same thing. Mulaney, well, congratulations on the win, and we wish you the best Thank of you. luck tomorrow at versus FGCU. Thank you, guys. Now having a chance as we get him switched out, head coach Keith Shunzel will be joining us in the booth. After a hard-fought win versus Stetson, Coach, what a game that you guys just played, facing adversity after set number one, coming back in three sets to take the W versus Stetson. I think early we didn't realize how hard we were going to have to compete in that match. Stetson, very, very good. They're one of the best coach teams in the, in the league every year. Um, they play great. They have great setting. They have good, smart hitters. They're just disciplined. Um, we were not competing at the level needed to win a game against against a good team. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of the girls for waking up. Uh, you know, the, the kid you just interviewed, the woman you just interviewed, she changed the whole game. Yep. She, she no changed doubt. That, we won that game because of what she did and how she came into that game and imposed her will on that team. And I'm so dang proud of her. She's been through a heck of a ride in her career, um, you know, highs and lows. And uh, and I'm really, really proud of Laney, what she did. What is it like having this deep of a roster? You've always talked about how deep of a roster you feel like you have. Laney Van Trees playing tonight just like the way she did is a perfect example of that. What does that do for your team going in here to the final stretch of games? Well, it, it, first of all, it takes a lot of toughness and just um, – uh, it, it takes a lot of will to stay positive and keep going because we have so many players on the bench that could be starting at so many other programs. Um, you know, and Laney just works and works and works. And tonight you saw what what result that is. And I'm just so proud of her. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need people. You know, you, you often, you don't make championship runs and that's what we're trying to do. Of course, a lot of teams in our conference are trying to make runs at it. You can't make a run without a full roster. You just, it's just so hard because it's a long season. Sometimes people aren't feeling it and aren't playing great. And if you don't have somebody that can come in and do something like that, now that was a special performance, but you need depth to be able to fill in for nights that's just not rolling with some people. And um, again, she, I, I think a lot of people played well. She was the reason why that match turned and what, why that match happened. Lauren, you got any questions for your former coach? I, my only question is, a, a team that, what, what do you coach the uh, girls for offensively on a team that takes your such hard driven hits and things like that? Like, how do you keep them within their own bubble? Yeah, and, and that, that's a great question because early we were really thinking about how to score. And sometimes when you think about how to score, you don't score. And I just didn't think we were hitting the ball with the pace and velocity that we can hit the ball at. And Lou was dishing. I mean, it, from serve pass today to the game, it, I, at one point I said, it's flowing today. And she said, coach, it's flowing. <laughs> yeah. and, and so the ball was there, not every set, of course, but the ball was there. And I just didn't think that our players had the, the, the right mental attitude from an attacking standpoint early on. And as that match went, boy, did we start to crank it up and then you start to score. Sometimes you just got to hit the ball really hard and high and good things happen. Final question I have for you, such a back and forth game, a lot of long volleys, wasn't really a lot of just quick back and forth scoring. How do you feel that your team was able to prepare for that and overcome something that we've seen from them here at the combo of going down one set and having to really battle to get back in the win? I don't know if earlier in the season that match turns like it does. I, I think we've gotten a little tougher um, of course, you don't want to come out like we did tonight, but I think that was a really big step for us um, to be able to get to get it going when it felt like we were really getting beat in a lot of areas early in that match. Um, so I think we took a big step. You know, I think uh, as the season goes on, you better get tougher. You better figure out ways to win games in different ways. And tonight we did that. And just, again, really proud of that effort by our women. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Again, we'll see you tomorrow, same time, or a little bit earlier, but same place here at the Convocation Center versus FGCU. Another big game for you. I didn't know we had one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Good luck, Coach. That was head coach Keith Shunzel with the winning 
big, big win here for Kennesaw State. Exactly what they needed. 25-22, they lost set number one. 25-18, 25-16, 25-22, they take set four low and final thought. It's been a great night. I think that that's exactly what you want coming out of that and going into FGCU tomorrow. And they're going to have to suit up again and put up back on their best game again. For Lauren Chastang, I'm Bryce Goberry saying so long from Kennesaw. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the Convo.